Hello everyone. Uh, we all know that CBSE board has introduced a new OMR system for term 1 class 10 and 12th classes. So let's see how to uh, correct the OMR in an easy manner. So this is a sample OMR given by the CBSE board. So here uh, one to uh, the 60 questions will be there and everyone knows about the pattern. Today I am going to discuss about how easily we can correct this OMR manually. So for this purpose I have made small changes. Let me discuss those first of all. So I have taken another OMR where I have deleted uh, these oval shapes. See this. In all the 60 questions I have erased the oval shapes. Okay. Next what we have to do is just using a scale using a scale and a cutter just cut this box completely okay so use a scale and carefully cut this so just take out these things right so now uh, this is the first thing you have to do next so uh, the CBSE board will be uh, given one key for each and every examination that key we should we should write in these boxes here okay this is uh, going to act as a key for us yeah just use a pen or sketch to write the key just I am writing the key here randomly so first answer C, A, B, write randomly all the answers. And we know that uh, few of the subjects have only 50 questions and uh, other subjects have 60 questions. So uh, I consider this as a science examination. We know that in science examination there will be 60 questions. So I am writing key for all 60 questions. This is the second thing. Now the third thing is which is very important and simple also. Here you can see uh, the circles. One, two, three question number circles. Okay. Uh, now at these circles, one, two, three, four question number circles, we have to make holes. So for this purpose, I am using uh, match stick and uh, uh, agarbatti. Yeah, now this is uh, the burnt agarbatti. So carefully we have to make holes here. Yeah, now everything is uh, over so uh, you feel that it may take time but before the examination itself first we cut out this part and make holes and be ready uh, as a key paper after getting the key uh, fill the key here just okay uh, before the examination or uh, one or two days before itself you uh, make this arrangement cut these and make holes here so after getting the key, we can fill the key uh, in all the OMR sheets, whatever the number of OMRs we require that. Okay, now the thing is over. Now uh, let's see that. So suppose uh, this is the OMR filled by the student. Okay, now I am going to uh, evaluate this OMR. See how much time it is going to take for me. So first you set uh, the OMR in this way exactly uh, it matches the numbers and these okay now as I told you this is the science examination which I am going to evaluate so uh, in the science examination uh, we know that uh, 
uh, first section A contains 24 questions. So let me mark 24 here and uh, next section 48. So let me mark 48, 45, 48. Okay. In the first section, student need to attempt 20 questions. So that means they have to leave 4. And in the second section also, they need to attempt uh, 20 out of 24. They have to leave uh, 4 questions. And uh, in the last section, they have to attempt uh, 10 out of 12. So they should leave 12 questions. First, I will check did they leave the correct number of questions or not. So see in the first section up to 24, this should leave 4 questions. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes. And in the section 2, they should leave 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay next in the section c they should leave two okay done now count this so c c matches so this is one did not match did not match two three four five oh sorry this is d and this is b four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. So eleven we will be writing in the OMR here. Just in the students OMR we will be writing eleven here. Okay. This is how we need to count the OMR in a simple manner. So this may take uh, uh, one to uh, one and a half minute. So in this way we can save time and little bit time out to extend the video. Uh, so uh, see this OMR once. So ask your students to write the answers in the capital letters. So that it will be very easy uh, to match the key and the uh, answers written by the student. So uh, board has given many instructions how to fill OMR. So see here in the first question C is bubbled and the answer which is written also C. So the answer will be taken in this case is C. So here B is bubbled and B is written. So answer will be taken in this case is B. So here D is bubbled, D is written in the box, so D is taken as the answer. But see in the fourth question, A is bubbled and student has uh, written B as his answer. So in this case, B is the correct answer we should take while you are evaluating. So whatever the answers has written in these boxes are to be taken as the final answer of the student. Okay. And one more thing see uh, here. Even though he answered, but he uh, bubbled this question number circle. So this means that student is saying that he is not attempted this question. So we should uh, consider this as a choice. Okay. And see here also see, see, here see this B is bubbled and A. And see, uh, this is 18th case, which is very important. So student left all the six as a blank. He didn't feel anything. So in isolators, be careful while you are uh, collecting the OMRs. See that no student should leave uh, the question in this manner. So this means that it uh, goes to unfair means. So the result of this particular student will be kept under uh, unfair means. So while you are collecting the OMRs or while you are invisilating, see that or give instruction, no question should be left in this blank, like this blank. Okay. And uh, that is the uh, most important thing. Next, see question number 23. 23, student has bubbled C, but he did not write anything here. So, we should not count this as a correct answer. Okay, so we should take into the consideration if the box is filled with any 
answer that answer only we will be considering this is also be careful about that yeah this is uh, the video thank you very much if you like the video please forward to your colleagues friends etc thank you very much